Good morning, or good day. Well, it's another day. I've been trying to figure out my next project, what to do here. So many here. It's tough to tell which one is to do first. I'm going to give you a list of what I got planned. I did get the old compressor, new bearing in the compressor, and that's back up and running. Over here at my bench grinder, I'm going to take it off the tire stand there. I'm going to mount it to the floor, get a couple of anchors and mount it to the floor. Winter's getting close by. Here's my old heater, wood heater. But i got to repair the chimney there and clean that out and put a new insert in there. That's for the old boat engine. Yeah, I had a little misfortune since the last video that you saw where I got that thing running. Went to prime it. This is the old electric pump I use for priming. Yes, as you can see, it's kind of white in color and your wires and clips are a little damaged. Lesson learned. <laughs> This little lip right here felt good enough to put the old hose on, thinking that that would hold enough there, thinking that's not that much pressure when I went to prime there, because I got thinking why it's not sucking with this fuel bowl here being on top instead of most pumps that you see it on the bottom that it's not getting air or it's feeding back so I decided to use the electric pump to prime it well yeah had my gas container sitting right there where my chain is right now and my sawzall put this in the tank started priming primed up as soon as that needle and feet shut it off when the bowl got full shut it off yeah Guess what? Look at my hand there. I don't know if the camera will show it very good. But there's the after effects. And this is about a... Well, when I... After just... The day after I posted the last video of uh, getting that thing running. Well, this is what happened. Went to this... When it, the hose blew off of here because I did not clamp it. Thinking, well, this little lip will be strong enough to hold it being at a low PSI yeah right found out no sprayed gas on this hand sprayed gas on this hand blew the hose off of there shot gas straight across over here I quickly went to remove it from there and yep one spark came and woof there's the dilemma I run into. Just about lost the old shot. Just beginning to ignite a couple of spots here and here. Oh, the camera doesn't show that good. But back up there, you go two little black spots. You can see the stain. Yeah, one big flame. Of course, it was on my hand, so slightly burnt both hands. Got a thinking. Well, I'm going to make a safer way. A little more safer. So I had this old compressor I tore apart years back. Also, when I made my vacuum pump, when I was doing the air compression uh, conditioning, I should say, in my Crown Victoria, I needed to vacuum the... Uh, AC system out. So I rigged up that. I got looking at this old frame. I'll just take this out here so you can see what I'm talking about. Had this frame sitting there in the back. I'm looking at it. Oh, first of all, we got a nice handle on it. Originally the compressor motor was originally a small little compressor and the motor on it seized 
ending that compressor, decide, why don't I cut that in half and see if I can make two projects out of it. Number one, that portion to mount that. So I got a nice carrying handle for when I need that air pump or vacuum pump. So I took the sawzall, cut it in half, giving me a small little tank right here. So what I decided to do, make me a little small fuel tank out of that. Rig this up for the air. So that's, I think, what I'll proceed in doing today. I'm going to make, first of all, I think it would be easiest. I'm debating whether to take this tank off or go on this first. I think we'll do the old vacuum pump. We're going to get it mounted here. So I'm going to dismantle this plate here. And look at this. Well, that will be the next step. The evidence in getting the uh, old fire out that I had here. You see that everything here is practically covered. You want to hit the old, got grab the old fire extinguisher to put it out. Man, it didn't take long. It, it kind of filled it up. Thank goodness for my little old fan here. I couldn't see nothing in putting it out. That took all the smoke and everything out within two minutes. Once I was able to see to get it plugged in over there. That's when it made me decide. Rather than my extension cord here, which I got temporarily, I'm going to mount a switch on the wall here. Wire this so that it's on the short circuit so if ever I have an incident again, I got a switch on the wall that I can just flick on. That's another project. Of course, we got the old boat outside there. Oh, look what the weather's like today. It looks quite windy today. The old boat there, and that's my form of the temporary boathouse for this winter. Oh, it's usually windy all right. See, the wife's got some blankets on the old clothesline there. Yeah, pretty windy. Oh, while well, I'm out here, I'm going to take a walk around here. Got the rest of my group on the old set here. So that portion's there. I'm just waiting for enough material to come in to finish the siding here. And that's what the old shed looks like. That wind's not, not, not too warm either. That's for the old box that you, I talked about earlier on. The fellow that wanted me to originally tear it apart says, ah, oh, just scrap it. So there it sits in the scrap pile. Okay, let's get back to working on this project today and see what we can come up with. I'll find a spot here to get the old camera focused on here. Okay, put, put this to the side right now and figure this out. I see what appears to be a two-piece section so we're going to rip this right apart here down to nothing because Here's the reason I decide, another good reason why I decide to use this as the base for it. The vacuum pump, we got rubber feet here. So it'll take a lot of the vibration away. And what I'm thinking of, and that's why I'm going to take it apart here, is if we can shorten this frame, taking some of this plates off here, and maybe moving this over. And using this for my fuel tank instead of that one. When I see that we have a fitting here, so this tank might work better than that tank for a fuel tank. So it can be safer mounting this then eventually on the wall. So got it for future use. Well, let's start with we we'll knock these bolts off and take our plate off. Oh, well, I appeared like it was cracked 
it's there, and I, when I was cutting it there, kind of cut a little piece of the handle off. So we're going to try to take, well, this little piece back in here. So we'll put that little piece to the side. Get at it. Yeah, everything is white now, so got the majority of the mess cleaned up. There's still lots yet to do, so what I decide to do is just clean things up as I need them from the coincidence. Okay, so we need two 916s. That'd be Oh yeah. Just got a pin there because okay. here. Now we can bring this up that much better as at the same time. To the side. And that's, oh, I know, better clean that out. Okay, that appears like that. Perfect. Okay, so now the sheet looks like there was a nut welded on the inside of the frame. Let's take the last two off. We'll figure what we're going to do here from this point on. Oh boy. So this tank is welded to the frame. Okay, well I think I'm going to do welded there there I think I'll get the grinder and grind that off so we can separate this tank from the frame progress hard to see here with the porous even though I got fluorescent lighting here it's still a little tricky to see certain places here it looks like we're making progress
give them see if that's you know, up to the light here I can see it a little better. out. get this tap for now. I'm going to tap this. in place. 
Oh boy, that's got to be cleaned up too. Still trying to get used to this new wire feed. Uh, most of my welding days have been thick. See, I'm not the best the best with it. But like I say, I'm still learning that stick. It's a whole different format to what I'm used to. But the whole object, first of all, we are dealing with thin stuff here, so I had a big hole there. And I, one trick I have learned in filling up holes is you just do little burps like you saw me doing. It fills it up eventually, and you just grind it up. Smooth it out after. Another big problem I have is my eyesight isn't the same as it used to be. Oh, I see we got another spot there to fill in. Well, let's see how we can do with this one. Well, there we have it, all welded in place, smoothed out. What I was after. Now we're just going to paint that. Okay, next step, like I said, whether to shorten this frame or leave it as that. Now let's get our vacuum pump. Size it up. Get the cord out of the way for now. Okay. So if we come close to there, the handle. Uh, pretty close balance. I think that's what we will go with right there. Okay. These two bolts will mount straight into that. That's right, what about this side? On this side we need a little frame from there to there, so 
have a problem thinking about which way to go here. We can also let's have a look at how that feels for balance. Now I like that position a lot better. Um, we got to make sure it's far enough for this centrifugal switch to the motor to clear. So we're going to put that centrifugal switch right there. The highest point will be right there. And I think that's what we'll do. We'll put it so that it sits. It's still clear. Sitting right there. So Yeah, that's nice. That's pretty well balanced right there. Okay, well, I'm going to have a coffee. I'm going to think about this for a minute. I like that deal right there because that is dead center for weight distribution. I think that's where I'm going to leave it. And a motor centrifugal switch will clear. I'm liking it. Okay, that's coffee. Put the old van in. Got some of the smoke out. Process to look in and unplug it. Or you won't be able to hear a word I say. Well, I've decided I'm going to make this bracket. I'm going to modify it and stick that bracket so that it's like that in there. When I look at this bracket, I see it's welded here, 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 and here. Looking at the thickness of this, let me just leave that there. I measured the motor. fits nicely inside of it. So we're going to clean this up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a little notch here for the handle. Redrill the holes on the frame for our side bolts to go on and I'll have a perfect balance. And we're going to leave the frame as is. Well, so that being said, center this to the motor itself. Well, whatever I grab now, it's got to be clean there. It's got that powder from the fire extinguisher. It makes it kind of uncomfortable touching, but rather than I clean the majority of the powder up, turn the old fan on, and I drop the old air gun, and I just gave it a quick blowing like this, and letting the old fan suck the majority of it out. Of course, during the general and rush, I was grabbing there, and the lucky thing about that incident, that fuel container sitting here, Thank goodness the flame didn't go back in here and melt that plastic jug. Because if it would have melted that plastic jug, I wouldn't hear, be here talking about it. Nor would I be having that engine going back in the boat. Or anything else. Surprising what one can do in a quick mo notice, moment's notice. Well, that's lovely. Now, where did I put the paint pen? Ah, there it is. A few powder off of it. Give it a shake. And we're going to mark it there and there. So that's where we want to put our bracket. So we'll take the old motor off. Frame. And now I'll put it on this side and figure out where we're going to make a groove there. And get my Interesting, the uh, 
radio there is going digital. And that's what all the beeping was that you hear, because unlike before, it's not the old straight radio anymore. No code. Uh, I was just found out from our last amateur meeting that the ham radio is also going digital, so I don't know about this digital. I'm glad I got that VHF radio so it gives me a little bit more of an understanding as to the digital aspect. Hold on, thanks for holding. Go ahead. And, uh, That will be far enough. Looks like about right position. We'll come straight down. Not a great invention that took place. These old paint pens versus the old chalk. Okay, put them I'm back on the saw now. We gotta figure out how I'm gonna achieve this. I think I'll put this to the old vise. Take the saws off. Cut, cut it down. center here. to take it apart and use the frame for something else the bolts are more convenient probably the reason it was bolted in the very first place but yeah now off the side plate I can make some kind of a protection shield here after so that being said that's perfect I like it let's get a This block. Take that off. Let's get some holes drilled. 
see if we got the drill. Uh, okay, where's my bits? They're right there. Wouldn't you know it? Done. Well centered. Now I'm gonna mark that the end motor fitting where I want it. I gotta this is gonna be the fun spot. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill mark and drill one hole <laughs> to begin with and get this side done in the mounts. This side I have yet to figure out how to do. But to get it started, that's about where I want it sitting. So let's get this marked out here. Will this fit? No, it won't. So, that can be fun. Let's get my paint pen and put a dab there. Of where that's got to be, you know. If I can get it far enough to mark the metal. Let's go on. 
huh, get a kick out of this woman dispatcher there. The airport call there for the fire, fire truck there to go up there. When if the guy is on, they stay on channel one. Every time he goes there, as soon as it's on top of the hill, anywhere out of the city bowl area, automatically, channel four. And I cannot find channel four. I don't know what frequency they use or what it is for their channel four. Kind of wish my old buddy chief buddy was still around. I'd find that answer out, but no longer with us. Anyway, let's get back. Get that hole there. I'm just thinking which route to go. Do I put a I think what I'll do is we'll go one size under and thread that so I can bolt this straight to the frame. Why don't I just put that bolt? down here for threads. Uh, it looks like that would be the one. Oh, this could be a problem. See, what does that say? 516 National Fine, 24 threads per inch. No, it's not that. It's so close, but that tells me it's metric. Don't have very many metric ones. Oh, I do believe I locked out here. Can find out. Still like the old chucks better where you had the key, you could get the chuck much tighter. Ooh, that batch got warm. It cooled down before. Up the old crescent wrench here. Don't move this by hand.
Find out if that fits or not. Perfect. Okay. Now I got it all figured out with size. We can go one up on the drill bit here. So the next size up. Just build and make sure, yeah. Okay. Let's get this thing bolted down and get the rest of the holes drilled in the right spot. Now to find it again. Can't see it. And over there. Now. Why did that move up on me? Somehow that got too far. That's not where I wanted it. Oh, I right. I forgot, I lifted up showing the neighbor when he came over. What I was up to. And when I lifted it, it shifted it from where I had it sitting. So, of course, it's going to line up in the wrong spot. We'll start again. Get my paint pen. What I'd like to do is I'd like to get my drill bit straight here, but we have this in the road that you can't get your drill straight in. So, yeah. It was an inch out, inch out. The drill got pretty hot too from trying to use it as a stud in the tap. So I'm gonna get my other battery here. Oh, same direction. Okay. This is number two. Mm. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take it off off of this, turn it upside down, do it from the bottom side for the rest of them.
Nice. Okay. Now that's what we're after. Exactly that. I won't bother filming the rest of it. But I'm going to take the brackets off. We're going to take this off. Put it in the vise. And do the balance three holes from the bottom side. Carefully measuring out. And then I'm going to paint this all. And I'll show it to you after I get it all painted and put together again. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe, like, share, and we'll catch you on the next one. Oh, folks. Ooh la la. And there we have it. Another complete.